Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to transfer file data to your VMUs in your Sega Dreamcast emulators. Now I actually thought that this was common knowledge but a few people got in touch with me asking how you could do it. So the purpose of this video is I'm going to basically show you how to take save files from any old game on the Sega Dreamcast and import it into your VMU. This is basically so that when you play games like Marvel vs Capcom 2 you don't have to spend like around 9 to 10 hours unlocking everything if you've already previously done it when you actually had a Sega Dreamcast. This basically makes it so you can take any old file save off the internet, import it into your VMU and then load it up so you don't have to mess around with anything. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using Redream. This application also works for Demuel, Null DLC and as you can see in this video Redream itself. It works for all the emulators as you're not going to be messing with the emulator itself, you're going to be messing with the VMU. So for the purpose of this video I will be using Redream but it does work for all of your emulators. So for now let's get this video started and show you exactly what you need to do. First of all let's open up our Sega Dreamcast emulator. This is my Sega Dreamcast emulator, just ignore these two bits here. First of all, we are going to need to go to this website here and download VMU Explorer. Once on the website here, you can see download, download that, and you should get these two files. Simply open up VMU Explorer. And as you can see, nothing is here at the moment. I'm going to assume that you do not have any save applications if you've possibly just downloaded the Dreamcast emulator or you don't have any saves at all. Now to do this, you go to open VMU and you will have options here. The first one should be your first memory card. If you do not have this in your current Dreamcast folder, say for example if you are using Null DC or if you are using uh, Demuel, it should be in the memory card folder itself. It's basically pretty obvious. Once you find that, open it up and your save should be shown as seen. Now if you have a save file which you have taken off the internet for the uh, just me, for example for here I have Marvel vs Capcom 2. This is a complete unlock save file. This has everything unlocked, everything open so I don't need to mess around for 9 to 10 hours unlocking everything. It's really important that when you do download a save file that it is a DCI file. It is also important that if you are using a PAL format, you download a PAL format save. If you are using an NTSC, you download an NTSC save. And the same for Japanese and so forth. Now once we have our VMU Explorer open, if you do have any saves, they will be seen as shown. To import a save that you have downloaded off the internet, go to File, Import File. And for example in here I have my DCI file in my Dreamcast folder but it won't be shown. You have to click on the DCI file first. You see it is here, we select it and there it is, your file is now in there. Now most importantly before you finish, click file, click save, save changes, yes. And that's basically it. That's all you need to do to import file saves onto your Dreamcast VMU. Once this is done, you can exit, just say yes, and that's it. That's basically as simple as it is. That's all you need to do to import any save files into your Dreamcast VMU. I hope this video helped some of you that are having any trouble out there. If you have any questions or need any help or advice, just drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.